school, as we mentioned, for winter break. A lot of Austin students will be headed out the door in just a few minutes, but it's going to be a really tough day for kids at Garcia Middle School. One of their classmates died on New Year's Day. Police say 13-year-old Sofia Martinez died from apparent alcohol poisoning. Tonight is also her visitation. Our Sofia Beausoleil is live outside the school Martinez attended, and we're taking an in-depth look into underage drinking and the laws that can help them. Hi, Sofia. Good morning, Brian and Sally. It really is a sad situation. APD is still waiting for toxicology reports to determine what exactly caused her death. But this is sparking a conversation when it comes to underage drinking. One in four high schoolers are binge drinking. So I want to show parents this app. So when you have that conversation with your student, you can show them. It's called drunkordying.mobi. It has signs like unresponsive, unconscious, odd breathing, and so forth. You can click on it and it'll tell you what to do and that is usually always call 911. Now like I said APD says the 13 year old Sophia Martinez died from apparent alcohol poisoning. Now her friend who was 15 told police that Martinez had several shots of vodka and whiskey. Aware Awake Alive is a local nonprofit that wants to raise awareness. It started after Carson Starkey died of alcohol poisoning following a fraternity initiation. Now that group was also behind the 911 lifeline legislation which is about protecting minors who call for help if somebody is in distress when it comes to alcohol poisoning. Now, this morning we have Mr. Mark Williams from the organization. How are you today? Fine, thanks. Well, thank you so much for being here with us. Explain to us what is the whole point behind this program? Where we Alive exists for multiple reasons, part of which is trying to increase the education. So not only did the Carson Starkey effort result in the 911 lifeline legislation, it also resulted in Alcohol Education Awareness Act in 2009, thanks to uh, Senator Watson, where we're trying to put alcohol education into the schools, into the health curriculum, so kids can understand what the signs of alcohol poisoning would be. But it's not just education. It really ends up being policy, legislation, and awareness, because you can be, have policies in place, but if people don't know about them, and they don't know what to do in the signs of alcohol poisoning. You showed the Moby, but those are the signs. When somebody has alcohol poisoning, there's a tendency to, to kind of back away and think they'll be okay. They'll sleep it off, and the reality is they need to get help pretty soon. So those, those are the things where we want people to be aware of, is what are the signs of alcohol poisoning and what to do when you see it. And real quick, you're a parent. How important is it to have that conversation with your kids? Real quick. Essential. My, my oldest son played tennis with Carson Starkey, so we have this relationship where you want your kids to know what to do in the situation where either they or a friend of theirs. They could be an innocent bystander that they're not drinking, but somebody else is. What to do in, if they find themselves in a situation where somebody's experiencing alcohol poisoning. Well, thank you so much for being here and giving us the insight to this. We really Thanks. appreciate it. Well, like we said, tonight is the vis visitation for Sofia Martinez, and it's going to be a really tough day for all the kids out here. Reporting live in East Austin, Sofia Beausoleil, KXAN News.